welcome or welcome back to my channel so today's topic is so vast in nature that i don't think i've even managed to scratch the surface yet but uh, whatever information the little information that i found out i felt even that was so valuable uh, for each one of us and i thought why not just make a video about it and learn in this whole process you know because i'm sure there's a lot of things that you all know about it too and i can learn from that as well so um Today we're going to be talking about how to tap into the power of our subconscious mind. Okay. Now the interest in this topic began from the time I read the book, The Power of Subconscious Mind, and uh, and this book kind of gives you a different perspective about how much of power you have within yourself. First, let's understand what your subconscious mind is all about. Now, your subconscious mind is like this wise person that is there within you. Okay. Now imagine the number of years that you've spent on this planet. Okay, the number of people that you've met, the interactions that you've had, the experiences that you've lived, the information that you've actually collected in your lifetime. There is only like one percent of that that is that that is what you remember in your conscious mind. The remaining huge chunk of information is actually gone and got archived in your subconscious mind, which we are not even aware of. Okay. So your subconscious mind is like this huge library of resources, okay, which is at your disposal. All we need to do is find the right search mechanism so that we can pick out and search for that information or that relevant information when we need. Now, how do we actually search for that? So, how what is that search mechanism that we can use? That is where most of us struggle. Now, I think in one way or the other, all of us have kind of found out about this subconscious miracle where that idea just up in your head out of nowhere. There are days and weeks where you suddenly like, okay, I'm not getting a solution to this problem. How do I kind of resolve this issue? And suddenly there's an idea that comes into your head, which makes it look like, oh yeah, actually I can do this. And you have no clue how that idea has come up in your mind. That idea, guys, has actually been brought to you by that resource that is already available to you your subconscious mind so all we need to now do is kind of find that search mechanism that we can actually search in whenever we want an information so i was in a hunt to find out what can be the easiest way to search and tap into the information that is there in our subconscious mind and while looking out for that i came across a quote by thomas edison which intrigued me that, okay, this seems to be easy. This is something that I can do. Why not read a little bit more about it? The quote that he said was, never go to sleep without a request to your subconscious mind. Now, what exactly is sleeping? Okay. Now, when we talk about sleeping, I think all of us just say that, hey, it's just a period of rest because I've worked so much the whole day. But is your body actually resting? Okay, think about it. All your vital organs, say your heart, your lungs, your kidney, everything is still at work the same way that they would even when you are awake. Your nails are still growing, your hair is still growing, the food that you've eaten is still getting digested. Every organ in your body is still working the exact same way. The only thing that is completely off is your conscious mind. Okay. In fact, your subconscious mind is working even more during this particular time. Okay. So the best way to kind of tap into or search this information is to cross that conscious mind because one part of it is closed and then directly enter into the subconscious mind and that is when you are sleeping. Now, growing up, I think most of us have been told that pray before you go to sleep or uh, you know we have people who are spiritually inclined saying that meditate before you go to sleep. So what is prayer and meditation? In a way, you're actually putting a request. In a way, you're actually making a wish. In a way, you're actually stating what is it that you want. And Thomas Edison said the same thing, but he did not term it as prayer or as meditation. He just said you need to sleep with a request to your subconscious mind. Now, your mind is made in such a way that it always wants to find answers to problems. Okay, when you throw a problem to it, it wants to find an answer to it. Okay, when you are sleeping, if you put into your subconscious mind that this is an answer that I'm seeking for, or is this the right decision that I'm making, or what should I do in this particular situation, your subconscious mind is actually going to search the database in that eight hours of time that you're sleeping. Because in that eight hours of time or six, seven hours that you're sleeping, 
your conscious mind is not there to disturb your subconscious mind with more information or constantly put self doubt within you or your conscious mind has a strong belief that no this is not possible so that you know obstruction is not there for that continuous 6 to 7 hours for your subconscious mind to work on that problem said that your as soon as you get up that first few hours at first 1 2 hours your conscious mind is very creative okay because it can easily tap into your subconscious mind at that time because you've just kind of got up into consciousness you're still into that zone of conscious and subconscious mind and that is the time any information or any request that you've made to your subconscious mind will actually be delivered to your conscious mind okay that's the time where you'll suddenly get an idea or you'll suddenly get any uh, solution to the problem or um, another way that your subconscious mind kind of reaches out to you is through dreams okay and that first that first few minutes this is when you actually remember your dream okay and that is one of the reasons that most of them say that as soon as you get up you shouldn't start working or you shouldn't check your phone or you shouldn't do all those things because that's when your subconscious mind is actually trying to reach out to you and give you that solution or that idea but when you are getting up and checking your phone you're actually ignoring that knock on your head you actually so it's as simple as that as soon as you get up give that one hour to yourself okay where you can actually listen to what your subconscious mind is saying and in fact in the power of subconscious mind the author has given a testimony of himself how the dream that he got actually saved him from taking up a job which in which he would have actually got killed okay so it just goes to say that some things that we kind of laugh about and we say oh my god that's not possible that's foolish that that doesn't make sense to me sometimes things don't have to make sense to you to actually be true okay in this whole situation i don't think we are losing out on anything if you just sleep with a request to your subconscious mind there's nothing to lose okay if you actually want to prove the point wrong why not try it out and then prove it wrong You know what I mean? So I think most of us are always wanting to prove something wrong without actually even trying it. Okay, try it. See if it works because it's not going to harm you in any way. It's not harming anyone else in any way. But if it does work, it is actually going to be beneficial for you. So I tried it out, and I'll tell you my experience. So there was this uh, once I read this quote from Thomas Edison. I was like, okay, you know what? This is interesting. Let me just try it out and see how this works. and um, before that period there was a whole week where i was having a creative blockage i was just not able to have that motivation to edit my videos or to think anything creatively i was just feeling completely blocked and i was like i don't think this is going to happen i don't think you know there was this lot of self doubt that kind of was there within me and i thought okay let me just try this out and before sleeping i just requested the subconscious mind to kind of clear this creative blockage and just help me out with few ideas so that i can uh, you know continue with what i'm really passionate about and the next day i kind of set an alarm because i wanted to get up early and i wanted to see how this whole thing works and you all won't believe okay the next day suddenly there was this ideas that just came coming to my mind out of nowhere okay it, it just felt that there are just so many more options and so many more things that i can do i don't know how what to make out of it i would definitely kind of uh, say thanks to that whole idea of doing it but um i'm saying it may not work the first time okay i'm still trying it on a daily basis for other things as well and i'll tell you all how that goes so it's not always necessary that you pray and the next day you get an idea but it has kind of worked for me so far uh, i okay i also tried a very silly thing i was like let me just test it by requesting that i want to dream about this particular person and um, that happened too okay and the irony that i remembered the dream after getting up so uh, it's it's sometimes weird okay when it actually happens and you kind of question yourself is it is it actually happening but it's fun to try and when it when it does happen it kind of takes you by surprise too so i would say before denying it at least try it once twice you know be persistent with it uh try it with simple things where you probably feel that oh this is let me see if this works out if this works out then probably i'll go to stage 
so uh, do a simple test and see how it kind of works out for you and um, if it does do let me know in the comment below that if you will, you'll have already tried and if it has worked out okay so yeah i guess that's pretty much it for this video i uh, will see you all again real soon i hope you all did like this video in case you all did don't forget to hit that like button and also do share and subscribe to my channel i will see you all again next week guys with a new video but until then let's just always remember to spread love positivity and kindness bye